Ladies and gentlemen, one thing about me that I know, if you have an extreme summer, chances are you're going to have a very extreme winter. It is not unusual to have summers where you have a lot of heat waves. And then when the winter comes, you have extremely cold, windy, snowy, icy weather. It is definitely not unusual. And they are saying this is going to happen. This is going to happen, not only here in the U.S., but in Europe as well. Now, you know, over in Europe, they've been going through it, y'all. I was looking and it said that 100,000 people have died from the heat over in Europe so far. And I know hundreds have died here in the U.S., but you'll get the real tally once we're in the fall of exactly how many have perished during the extreme heat. But let me tell you, the extreme cold can be just as deadly. It can. And if you're not used to it, that can be a big problem. So the Farmer's Almanac forecasts extreme weather in the winter and expecting energy bills to soar. And energy bills have been very expensive these days. So I'm going to go ahead and play this audio for you. Farmers Almanac forecasts extreme winter weather as energy bills soar. The United States should prepare for extreme weather this winter, according to the Farmers Almanac. The 204-year-old publication, which has released annual extended weather forecasts since 1818, has warned the coming winter will have plenty of snow, rain, and mush, as well as some record-breaking cold temperatures. The forecast comes as many will have been hoping for a milder winter after a summer of extreme heat, as Americans continue to grapple with soaring energy bills and health hazards. Newsweek reported last month that more than a dozen people had died due to a dangerous heat wave across the U.S. The Almanac predicts a stormy winter is on the way, with the eastern half of the country expected to be hit harder, the publication staff said in a press release. For some areas this may mean snow, but for others it will result in more slush and mush. The extended winter forecast warns that the first bite of winter is expected to come earlier than last year, with December looking stormy and cold nationwide. January could be the stormiest for much of the country, the Almanac's forecast warns, with heavy snow predicted to reach as far south as Texas and Oklahoma in the first week, 2023. The forecast adds that the period between January 16th and 23rd raises another red flag for bouts of heavy rain and snow across the eastern two-thirds of the country, followed by what might be one of the coldest outbreaks of Arctic air we have seen in several years. How cold? Try 40 degrees below zero. Chilly temperatures are forecast to also disturb warm weather seekers in the southeast during January, but should be near normal in February. That region will see frequent storms bringing cold rains and a wintry mix of wet snow, sleet, ice, freezing rain, as well as chilly temperatures, forecast warns. But temperatures in the Great Lakes areas, northeast and north central regions could be low enough to send people hibernating, the release says. An unreasonably cold and snowy winter is forecast for the Great Lakes region, but north central states are expected to see glacial temperatures and plenty of snow. Those in the western half of the country should escape major shivers, according to the Almanac. Brisk temperatures are forecast for the northwest, while mild temperatures are expected in the southwest. But a drier than normal winter is predicted for California, Arizona, and other southwestern states, which won't help the drought situation, it adds. The Almanac predicted many of the winter storms that hit the U.S. last winter, including the powerful Nor'easter storm in October. The 2023 Farmer's Almanac offers 16 months of weather predictions starting from September 2022 and will hit shelves on August 15. According to the publication's website, a mathematical and astronomical formula is used to make its weather forecasts. It concedes that long-range forecasting remains an inexact science, but says its followers have reported that its forecasts are 80 to 85 percent accurate. Just a quick word from our sponsor. Okay, I'm going you... to turn it off here. So you heard that, and I actually don't doubt this. I really believe that a good portion of the U.S. will be caught under these frigid temperatures this year. 
And remember, there are some places in the South that normally don't get that cold. They have gotten that cold recently. We can't forget about what happened in Texas. And also that same year, South Florida went down to 20 degrees, which is very unusual for South Florida. So look, you're going to see things happen in places that you've never seen before. That polar vortex and all of that Arctic air can virtually hit anywhere in the country. And the thing is, those polar vortexes that we would get here in the Northeast, it seems like they linger a lot longer than ever before. Now they can go on even beyond two weeks in some cases. We've had that happen. And we shall see. It's going to be, it's already been an extremely interesting year to say the least. I can't imagine how much worse it will actually get. So all I can say is prepare yourself because it's going to be a rough year. And I think it's going to end in a rough way. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.